hello guys welcome to my channel cloud projects so today we will see how we can create an aws lambda layer using serverless framework so before moving to creation of the layer let's talk about uh, a layer so lambda layer basically is a way where we can put our code which can be used throughout the lambdas so just deploy once and it can be reused in multiple lambda functions we can also have the versions multiple versions of that layer which can so one lambda function can have a version one the another one can have version two so it depends on our requirements we can manage lambda layer versions and those versions can then be included in the lambda layers so let us go ahead and first create the lambda layer manually then we'll see how it works so basically to in order to create a layer just go to the lambda function here and then you'll go to the layer section which is basically here and just go to create layer the name of the layer and the description which is an optional and there's a need to upload a zip file to, to this which is basically a packaged version that will also see how we can do this and then simply upload it the architecture this is also an option whether we are creating for um, which architecture basically and then the runtime either it is a node or java or python or any near or any compatible language and the license mit which is basically an optional so this is the way so these are the minimum requirement that we need to have in order to create a layer so let's quickly go ahead and go to the which where we can create a layer so i have basically created uh, one of the layers here so in this one basically it's a folder in which there is a package.json file and the serverless file let me quickly go to change the bucket so basically in s3 bucket we will be storing all the serverless code so what serverless does is it it creates a bucket and it deploys all the code in this zip format and store it into these buckets so here is the configuration i have renamed the bucket to previously it was a different bucket but i have renamed it to a different one so this is my configuration which is basically the service the package which is to be included so it can be uh, given at the top level or at the package level itself so bo both of the options work so let's me quickly go ahead and comment this out so this uh, because we have uh, specified here in the layers section so this is the plugin which is basically the deployment bucket means when it uploads all the dependencies or the serverless project then it will create a zip inside this folder that we'll see in a, in a bit in the layer section which is a logical name and the name of the uh, la layer that we'll be creating and the description the path what is where the zip will be uploaded so basically this whole project will be uploaded as a layer in the runtime so all the fields which was specified here while creating the layer are getting create specified here in this so this is done so let me quickly go ahead and do the npmi into this layer so in the package.json file we have a moment dependency the request package which is basically the calling the apis and the serverless deployment package so these three i have just specified for the for the deployment sake once it is done then we'll deploy this code so serverless serverless deploy stage dev prof profile so i have configured multiple pro, uh, profiles so i'll be using this one uh, for the aws profile when i need let me deploy this so it should deploy this to it will start the packaging and the whole packaging will include the node module section of this layer the layer name will be dev as we have specified stage as dev dev hyphen common layer test so once this is uploaded we'll go to the uh, console and we'll see if it is but there is a problem there's not the same region okay so there's a different region so let me change the us east one so it is saying the bucket the region in which the bucket exists the layer will also go into that so let me change i have changed the 
region here and we'll repackage it and we deploy so it's packaging once this is done we'll have the layer ready that can be used in a lambda functions so we also be creating a lambda function to entangling it just by attaching uh, this layer to that lambda function so the load size is 2.69 mb here i have specified the package to include so whatever it is uploading it will include this node modules package which is basically the dependencies for the node project so it is also creating cloud formation stack so you can also simply go to the cloud formation and see what are the steps happening Let's go to this. I think it is uploading. Go to the cloud formation stack and see the stacks which are getting created. Serverless Lambda layer dev. So this is creating just now. It is completed. What are the events? So these are all events happened in the background when we did serverless deploy. So let's go to the layer section. Refresh the page. So now we have the layer so it is taking because i have already created one and deleted it so it took this name so we have the layer so let us download this first and try to open continue folders so see in this particular zip there are node modules and each node and this has all the dependencies which we did install So now this layer is ready. Let's go to the lambda function and create one function. Try to import this layer. So test lambda node fourteen. Let's create the function. It's still creating. It'll be completed soon. The lambda function is created. this is the basic boilerplate template code which let us in the layer section let us add this layer custom layer that we have created is step common layer test the version is 2 add now the layer is attached so let's try and test this so it it will give an error test So this is the test. We'll just uh, save it. I'm so simply we'll try to test it. It might give an error. It worked uh, because uh, there's no. So let me add the package that we have installed. The request package is there in in the layer section that we have deployed here. So this is request. So now I am using requiring this request function request uh, package into my lambda function, and it is saved. Let us try and test it again. So it is saying runtime import module error, which is the module it is trying to fetch is not available. So the reason for this is it is trying to get the dependencies from the lambda environment in the container in which it is running so we need to specify the path of the node modules that is environment variable let's say node path which is slash opt slash dues so here yeah, opt is the temporary folder in the lambda container in which it is running and it stores all the dependencies in this folder so we have specified the node package paths to opt slash node module so whatever layer we have included will go into this path and from there we are requiring we have we are setting up the node path which is basically the node runtime for, for this lambda so i have test created the environment variable let's try and test it again earlier it was giving an error So let's try. So now see, this worked. So whatever the dependencies, another one was moment. 
me empty require a moment and deploy and test see that also works so in case if it is not proper let us try to do another package which is not there so i've renamed it to moment one which is not there in my package dot json file so it should give an error because it's not contained in the node modules and test it it will give an error that moment import module error error message it is trying to import but it has given a different message let me increase the timeout general configuration the initial when we create is three minutes three seconds with 10 seconds try to save this and let's change to something else then test it so now it is saying moment one is not found the module it is trying to import is not found now we have changed it back to this and corrected it and test it again now it will work so it works properly so this is done for the layer section the next uh, next part of this video we'll see how we can create a custom package so let us say these are all npm packages that are available in the npm repository but let's say if we want to create our own custom package but we want we don't want to uh, publish it on the npm registry so we'll create one more package here let's say my in the my custom package and in this package we'll try to include this package in the layer section in the layer section this will cover in the next episode so till then thank you for watching this video and have a good day ahead thank you bye bye